Welcome RPA Champions. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Climb and how to configure it. Now, Climb is an awesome tool to do vibe coding. If you haven't heard about vibe coding, it is when you ask the AI to create an application or to build you some code and the AI does it without you actually not even looking at the code. As long as it does the job and everything is working, then it's fine, it's working. You don't need to write any code and you don't need to be a developer. Obviously being a developer helped previously in the past more than right now. Now you don't really need to be a developer to do vibe coding. And I'm gonna show you how to set up this extension that is called Client, that is my favorite extension to work with and build applications. Now I've built a different applications. This is one of them. This is a application that has thousands of lines of code. It uses AI for different things. It has uh, very complex things and everything was done with Vibe coding. From the layout until the AI functionalities and everything was done with Client. So that's what I wanna show you. I wanna show you how to set this up and get it uh, working on your own computer so that you can build amazing applications yourself even without being a coder and automate the entire process of building code. Now the first thing that you're going to need is Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a coding application where the code is going to be generated for us. Now you can also try other tools and I've tried other tools as well like Replit, Bolt, Windsurf, Cursor, uh, and so on and for my personal taste klein is the best now we're not going to install it from right here we're just going to do it even simpler once klein uh, once we have installed visual studio we're going to go to the extension tab right here in the extension tab we're going to search for klein and just click on the install button it is that easy once you have installed it it's going to take a couple of seconds this icon is going to appear right here now, once you see this icon, you're going to have, and you click on it, you're going to be on a page like this. You're going to have the ability to chat, to write your messages, and Klein is going to take over your this tool and is going to build code, it is going to read code, it is going to launch browser, it is going to do pretty much anything that you allow it to do. Now, let's see how to configure it. The first thing that you should see is that it works just like a chat. It is an agent. You tell it what to do and it performs those tasks. Now, right here, you can edit, uh, have it to plan or have it to act on different things. Now, first, if you are working on something complex that requires reasoning, it is a good idea to first activate the plan, ask your question or your request and see the plan that is created for you. And after that, you would click on the act mode and that would execute all of the different actions that are required to complete that task. However, if you want to configure it to your liking, you can click on the button where I just clicked on auto approve right here and you can set different configurations such as auto approve. If you want to just have it go by itself and do things by itself without you checking anything, you will just click on the auto approve. And then here you will have the maximum requests that it can do without having to notify you and so forth. You can also set it to execute all kinds of different commands and you can configure this to your liking. Now, to get this to work, there are different ways that you can do it. You can use it, your own API keys. You can have API keys from Open Router, Anthropic, Bedrock, and so forth. Now, once you enter an API key inside of the box for the API key, you're going to have access to all of the different models that are available on this endpoint. So for example, for open router, I can see that these are all of different models that I can use. If I go, for example, to Anthropic, I would see all of different models that I can use from Anthropic and so on. If I go to open AI, if I go to Mistral and so on. Now you're going to notice that apart from just the API key and the models, there is another thing. There is different capabilities that this tool has. One of them is to support images, computer use, and prop caching. Now, Anthropic, Claude Sonnet 3.7 or 3.5, both support all of these functionalities. Now, when building our applications from scratch, it is good to have these capabilities. Why? Because the agent is going to be able to work together with your computer to complete those tasks. Another thing that you should keep in mind is that there is a couple of other options that you can configure right here. 
and that is this custom instructions right here now sometimes people say that uh, the ai doesn't really do on their code what it's supposed to do or maybe it's not doing it using the right technology well that really depends a lot on your instructions not just the prompt that you're going to provide the ai but also on the custom instructions if there are some general guidelines that you would like your agent to do you would put them in here this is very important and it's very important to think about what you are building and what could be some constraints that you would like to put on the AI on the way that it creates files writes code technologies it uses and so on and so on all of those things would be inserted inside of the custom instructions but things go a little bit further than that if we go to the client documentation and if we go into the prompt engineering guide i will leave links for this down below now if we go to this page we're going to see that you can set your own custom instructions obviously you can set your custom instructions inside of the tab right here however you can also create a file that's called client rules where you can set a whole set of rules that will be used entirely on the project by the entire team so that it's not just local to your own machine so a project guidelines would be something like this documentation requirements and so on and so on while if you wanted to create a good custom instructions what i usually do is i use this tool right here prompt gina and i create uh, from a, just a basic prompt i like to use this tool to elaborate my prompt and create something better so for example in this example right here i wrote you're a senior developer specialized in python and django frameworks you have 10 years of experience now it took this prompt it made it into something a little bit better i went to chat gpt i asked it for something a little bit more detailed it gave me something but i wasn't still satisfied i copy pasted it in here and i got the perfect instructions that i could use for a for client if i were working on a django application so in this example i would put the custom instructions right here and this would overwrite any other instructions that might have been inserted inside of by the client team to make this tool work as successfully as it does and would follow first these instructions now there are a couple of more really interesting things about clients so not only does it generate really great code without issues and gives you the ability to change models based on your settings but also we can have it control our browser and use our browser if we scroll down a little bit more inside of the configuration pane we can have it connect to our browser have a local connection we can set this up inside of the advanced settings with the path to our chrome executable where it's installed on our browser inside of the advanced settings we have also a whole set of other configurations that can make our experience much better and much more customizable i highlight one more time that it's important to set these tools up for yourself for the way that you like to work in order to really get the best results now client has also uh, given you the ability to create an account and use their models so if you don't have your own api key you can use just client and select the models that they have this is going to have obviously a cost i think there is a free credit of 50 cents a day that gets reset i think daily or monthly not 100 percent sure but i made a call to it to deep seek and it cost me one cent now after the account there is one last thing that i wanted to show you and this is really exciting it is the mcp servers now what this allow you to do it is a little bit like having cloud application it allows you to interact it allows client this extension to interact with all of these servers so for example if we had a git we have git tools right here if we wanted to commit our website and if we wanted to commit our code with certain requirements we could just ask it inside of the chat and it would connect to our git mcp server and it would do all of those operations for us without having to process additional commands run things in the terminal and so forth now ladies and gentlemen if you have stayed with me for all of this time i advise you and i ask you to subscribe to the channel and leave me a like so that i can keep on making videos like 
this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more things about Klein, because there are other things that I could show you about Klein, please let me know down in the description. Things like setting up the advanced configuration or taking a look at the instruction file of Klein that is buried down inside of the code of Klein, where it actually says and explains how the instructions are and how Klein should work in conjunction with all of the other tools. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.